so here I am. It's the same circus. I've been trying really hard, uh, like I always do. I am an ambitious woman. I am a responsible woman. Um, I gave my all to a relationship of 25 years, and I was not one to think that I was going to get married and, and play house with any person. This man I was with faked who he was. I didn't know him. He was emotionally messy and destructive. We've lost, I don't know how many things because of him. And I would have to rebuild. Last summer, I gave him that final opportunity. For, like many of you, is when this gang stalking, the uh, tragic, dark magic, black magic, spell work occurred. Suddenly, my hair fell out. I rapidly lost weight. Things were happening to my looks. They tried to put me in a position because they wanted me to go crazy. Can you imagine this man? This is the man I loved. And then he created the largest narcissistic discard of all time. And was angry that I wasn't somehow shattered by the experience. I ran as far as I could. And I was like, if you are going to choose that, this thing, these situate that people, that woman, then, you know, my love died. And I told him it was teeter-tottering. He did not want to invest. He did not want to make any moves to change <coughs> or to show his love. But he is willing to show how crazy he is and try to lose it on me because he does heavy drugs. He's a pleasure seeker. They do heavy, heavy, heavy drugs. Now, I fell off. I... I'm not a user. It's not me to really do any of that. I'm a rather wholesome woman. Responsible and all that. And, you know, I shouldn't have let them get to me. And I stepped out of my integrity. They've used it against me ever since to say it turned me crazy. When he leaves out what they put in the food, did you know that they drugged me? So that I would be passed out of sleep so they can go cheat. Because they didn't need me, like seeing shit and seeing right through shit and following him possibly so you know he'd have people follow me watch me make sure I was somewhere so that he could cheat and hide out who he was going with now we're a year later I left Arizona I was excited I was very happy I regained all my strength and my health I was eating right all the foods I ever wanted to eat without um, being interrupted. Right? Only thing is, there was issues over there. And I know he was, you know, family had some helping hands trying to, you know, intercept, for instance, when I was trying to go on a date. They got into my phones, all three of them. Four of them. I threw one away. From over here, they were gang stalking. They were using social media and video cameras and these biatches were helping him. One of them, the last day I was here in Seattle, one of the last days, they were, came in, both of him, both of them, him and her, in one morning, woke me up, throwing items onto the bed, and she said, I'm going to go to hell for this. Really, what are you going to go to hell for, biatch? What's more, she claims he was so, so faithful, so this, then why are you writing about women, how you're so in love and this and that, and another one, writing about his D getting hard and his fantasies. Now, he's trying, he's having a connection fit because he wants me back. And to see me with somebody else would be a, sh a blow to this narcissistic ego that he would never, ever be able to come back from. Ever. For him to see me get my life like this, would also shatter his ego because with him, nothing was ever able to grow, ever. Everything was always destroyed, every time. He cheated on me. He says he didn't. Well, if he didn't, then you sure played the role. And why are you writing about all of it? All the girls, all the people were coming up to me saying basically he wanted me to be a side piece. He wanted a single life. When I already came to him 
as an adult and said, you know what, I have this feeling you kind of want to run around. But remember, I'm going to be on the market. He was like, mm, no. But he did it anyway. He got a little polyamorous, polygamous wife gr wives group. They're all like buckled up, okay? And he thought I was going to play games with it. And I was going to be like, trying to compete and play. No! Not me! Never me! How dare this man even try? Can you imagine? This is how arrogant he is. How are you going to do that to somebody like me? I'm smart. C clearly, look. This is like no makeup. Very, very little. 45 years old. I'm surprised I don't look worse. But what he's put me through, the spiritual warfare was freaking out of this world. While I was trying to juggle. How paying rent in my new place. Working. And while they were trying to systematically dismantle what I built online for work. My freelance work and all that. And keep me in this crazy circus. <coughs> and wherever they learned this dark black arts I'm shocked by it and they and he did that and he wanted to make it look like oh I was crazy why because he wanted to be believed for his shit but look the man can't even handle himself he freaks out says he's gonna kill me that's what he wanted in the first place because he cannot handle the thought of another man touching me but it's okay for him to run around up there and now every time he's with somebody it's not good enough it's never gonna be good enough why because we had the greatest intimate life our our sex life as a husband and wife, was really up there. And I thought he was somebody else, so I was very attracted to him. He's clearly, still, extremely attracted to me. So that thought really kills this man a lot. Big time. You, sh I mean, you guys, the things that they do, you know, they do some kind, he does something where the house gets dried out. I don't know, I can like, feel something strange in my bones, and then my throat sounds like this ear. And he'll start doing it when I'm singing or something. Like he wants to take my voice. And he's back there with the phone. So whoever is helping him out here, they're doing the same thing. They practice Black Tantra. I woke up in the middle of the night with him doing it. <coughs> yeah, that's a fact. He's crazy. She's crazy. And he's running around with a little, another redhead, Biatch, who's insane. Who is with my son as well. He's not getting away with it. I'm going to live my life. They also stole money from me and got a loan. $20,000 in my name. And I want it back. Okay. I want it back. <laughs> you know. He's mad because he knows what kind of life I'm going to have without him. Without his holding me up. Right. He's never there for me. Ever. Emotionally. Bland. Blank. You see, because I am a woman of quality and character, I'm very, I'm multi-talented. I am. I've been working on myself since I was a child. I'm an introvert. I spend most of my time alone. I love people. I feel their pain. You know why? Because I've been through deep emotional pain. And he, this man put me through all 44 years in one year by waging spiritual warfare against me. And I made it out of it, not just in one piece, but people flying colors and looking as good as I can. I had to leave all things behind. I didn't get any help. They're trying to change the perception of me. Why? Oh yeah, that's right. Because he wants to hide what he's done. So if I'm crazy somehow and all of this bullshit, he feels... It's going to bring him a win. But listen to me, you deceiver, conniver, and liar. That's not how it works. And he's going to watch me. He's going to watch me live that life. I'm dying to start out with my own studio. So I can live my life in peace. And be the woman I want to be. Without being interrupted. I will not be fooled by disgraced by mistreated by or mishandled by 
a man who's off his rocker, off the chain. Go get the women. I mean, he spends all day long on porn sites, looking for the next hoe on dating sites, plenty of fish, stuff like that. That's it. Does that sound like a man that was in love? Does that sound like a man that lost his wife that he wants her back? He said, oh, my heart was broken when you left. He really thought I was supposed to stay here and wait. Somebody like me. Um, no. Not going to happen. You must be crazy. Clearly, oh, you are. Yeah. Wow. I told him I would queen of swords his ass so goddamn quick he would his head would spin. He wouldn't know what the hell. Off with their heads. I am not going to go back to that soft, sweet time. You destroyed my life and got bitches to help you dismantle it. Like many of you, you're going through this. And then, and then, utilizing the law because one of them is a crooked ass cop. Wanting to hide his dark sexual secrets. Like, I give a shit. Just not going to do it to me. But see, this guy doesn't want to do the work it takes. Or say the right things or apologize. He's going to say, I did nothing. You did nothing. You did nothing. But yet, all your friends are coming to me and saying, you were doing a lot of things. And I was watching you. When you come home, 4, 5, 6, 7 a.m., and you're high as shit. What am I supposed to think? Months or years on end, like three years in this place, which they destroyed when I left. I got pictures of when I was here. Gorgeous. I create homes. I build a life. They dismantle it. So, he decided to go to the dark arts with these hoes, his little coven of tramps, who are buckled, <laughs> to say the least. And none of them can come toward me to say shit. What are they going to say? I dare you. Speak to me. Mono y mono. I will shut you down so freaking fast. You know, Libra is queen of justice, queen of the queen of swords, queen of intellect. That's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm a Gemini, rising Libra, okay? Tons of Taurus, so that's where the Empress comes in. All that Venus? Mm hmm. That's where my Jupiter and my Mercury is. What do you think? Anyhow, I dare you. I dare you. To come speak to me. Because believe me, with my quick wit and my intelligence, I will shut you down so fast you will never recover from the embarrassment, the shame, and the humiliation. You'll be stuck on stupid. And we both know it. So don't even try. Okay? If you thought I was uppity then, bitch, I'm more uppity now. Do you know why? Because I am who I am. I am a woman of honor, integrity. I do not lie. I am loyal. I love people. I have hearts. And I made it through your goddamn spiritual war that you threw at me. All right? It's not tougher than ever. What are you going to do? Hmm? What are you going to do? Throw rocks, stones, and hide? Yeah, that's what you can do. You're going to hide. You can't show yourself. Shameful son of a biatch. What you gonna do about it? Hmm? Hear that quiet? Yeah. Psst. Anyhow, for my divine collective, they have another thing coming. You know, like I said, Libra is a master of argument. Why? Lawyers. Judges. They're very good at judging a situation. Spiritual judges. Earthly judges. Lawyers. Our intellect is keen. Especially with Gemini in there, too. Okay? Quick-witted. 
past like lightning. My Scorpio moon can see right through your ass. So put those together. What have you got? I'm sorry. What? I didn't hear it. Yeah. So sit your ass down. For you are going to go to hell for this, lady. Like you said. Any other ones? It's coming. And for you guys out there in Divine Collective, it's coming for them too. You know it. We feel it. It's coming soon. All right? Until later.